I know you've joined Weight Watchers. Yeah. So far, he's lost thirty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. But uh, what did your wife say to you? You was on the scales weighing the other day, wasn't it? Yeah, standing there in the bathroom, scales weighing. You know, and she come through there. You know how they are. I do. She said, "It don't do no good to chuck your stomach in like that." I said, "It does if you want to see them numbers." Well, didn't you uh, go to the doctor? Yeah, I went to the doctor. He, he, he got blood pressure, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, and overweight. <laughs> doctor went in. He went to the doctor, and the doctor told him, "said Look, we're gonna get serious with you, buddy." Said your blood pressure's way too high. What happened was he cut his leg mowing the yard. Blood didn't come out. Gravy did. We put a biscuit on it. But <laughs> but. Uh, Said, we're gonna get serious with you, pal. We're gonna make you get down to it this time. He said, I want a second opinion. Doc said, All right, you ugly too. <laughs> <laughs> I went, he said, I went in there and he said, uh, just out of curiosity, what size waist do you wear? Mm. I said, 44. He said, What size inseam? I said, 28. He said, You know, you probably taught her laying down. <laughs> but you know, when I was going in there, there was an old man coming out there and he was crying. And I asked my show buddy, you okay? He said, that doctor just told me I was going to take a pill every day for the rest of my life. I said, well, that ain't nothing. He said, he only gave me four pills. <laughs> then I got ready to leave, and I come out in the hall, and another doctor had an old man there talking to him. He said, I'm just going to tell you, buddy, in my personal opinion as a doctor, he said, you smoked them old cigarettes all your life, got your lungs and heart all clogged up, you drank that old whiskey and eat up your liver and your kidneys. He said, in my personal opinion as a doctor, you ain't going to be around much longer. Is there anybody you'd like to see? The old man said, yeah. Another doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did go to the doctor, all jokes aside. Yeah, I went. What'd he say? Said I had amnesia. Amnesia? How long you had that? Had what? I tell you, it ain't been long ago. I probably shouldn't tell this on him, but I'm going to. He was in the hospital. He had a kidney infection. And the doctor, the nurse boy had a big old raw bone nurse. This nurse had everything that a, that a man wanted. Thick beard, big muscles, hairy chest. <laughs> She's rougher than a cob. She come in there and brought this little vial and said, look, pal, I want you to fill this for me. And I mean, you do what I say. She said that on the shelf. And he said, I can't hit it from here. <laughs> I got close. Hey. Twice. <laughs> anyway. She come back in there. She said, you ain't done what I asked you to do. You didn't fill this vial up. So now listen, if I come back in here again, you ain't done what I asked you, I'm gonna give you a shot. Well, they brought his dinner in there and there was some apple juice on the tray. He said, hand me that vial over here. He poured that apple juice in there. Said, see what she thinks about that. She come in there and said, well, good to see you done what I've asked you to do. She picked it up, looked at it, said, it's a little cloudy though. He said, let me see. Let's run it through again, won't you? <laughs>